Hello guys. So in this session, we will talk about Argo CD architecture. Right. So you can see this is the Argo CD architecture. So first of all here, you can see, first of all, Argo CD consists of three main components. Which components? So first of all, as you can see your API, that means Argo CD server, and you can see API, then web server, right? The next is Argo CD repository server. You can see here, first of all, API, right? Then Argo CD repository server. Okay, sorry, uh, yeah, Argo CD repository server, then Argo CD application controller, you can see. Okay, so that's the three main components of Argo CD, API, repository service, and application controller. So that's the three main components of Argo CD architecture. So let's start one by one. So first of all here, you can see API server, that means web server, right? So it is a REST server, that means RESP server, which exposes the API consumed by the web UI CLI. Okay, so you can see a web UI CLI, right? Okay, and it this application management, right? Like uh, create, update, and deletes. Okay, then this uh, this API application operations, uh, operations like exam for example, sync, rollback, and this repository and cluster management. Okay, and this API authentication. Okay. Next stage here, you can see repository service, right? So it is an international service that responsible of cloning remote Git repository and generates the needed uh, Kubernetes manifest, right? It is a repository service, okay? So that's why it's a cloning remote Git repos repositories, right? Okay, that means it's working is clone your git repository and generate the kubernetes manifest right so that's the working of this repository service okay then next is this application controller so what is application controller so as you can see your application controller so it's a kubernetes controller which continuously monitoring running application right and compares the current life state against the desired target state, right? That means, in short, it's working as a communication with repository server to get generated manifest, and then communicate with Kubernetes, then API, and get actual cluster state. Okay, so that's the working of this application controller. Okay, so you can see here, and then the next, Next uh, uh, work is this application control is deploy app manifest to destination cluster, then uh, detect outsync then app and takes corrective actions if needed, then invoking user defined define looks for life cycle events. Okay, so that's the working of this application controller. So as you can see here in this architecture you can see first of all here this api then repository server then application controller right now you can see your sync hooks app actions right now you can see the deploy and the staging and the day so first of all git so it gives this pr merge then ui user face user interface then cli and this race right so as i told you for api right you can see here it is a REST server which re re exposes the API consumed by the web UI CLI, right? So that's why you can see, okay, and it's Git. So that's the Argo CD architecture. So the main component is three, you can see here, API, repository service, and application controller. So as you can see here, Argo CD architecture components. So first of all, Argo CD server. So this is the core component of Argo CD. It runs as a Kubernetes deployment and act as the control plane for managing the continuous delivery workflow. And it handles the synchronization of actual state with the desired state defining Git. Then API server, right? 
So the API server is this REST server which exposes the API consumed by the web UI CLI and CI CD system. And it has the following responsibilities. Application management and status reporting, invoking of application operations like sync, rollback, user defined action. Then repository and cluster credential management that means store ads, Kubernetes list, uh, secrets. Then authentication and auth deletion uh, to external identity providers. Then RBSC enforcement, then listeners uh, forwarder for Git WebOps event. The next is repository server, right? So this repository server is an internal service which maintains a local cache of the Git repository holding the application manifest. And it is responsible for generating and returning the Kubernetes manifest when provided the following inputs. Repository URL, then revision, that means commit, tag, branch, then application path, and then template specific settings that parameters helm helvis.yaml. Then application controller. So the application controller is a Kubernetes controller which continuously monitors running application and compares the current live state against the desired target state. That means as specified in repository. So it detects out of sync application state and optionally takes corrective action and it is responsible for invoking any user defined hooks for lifecycle events like pre-sync, sync, post-sync. Right. So that's the Argo CD architecture. Right. That's API, repository service, application control. That's the three main. Right. And after that, you can see here sync hooks and application, then deploy, dev staging, and so on. Right. So that's the architecture of Argo CD. Right. So thank you for watching.